Mr. Ghost. Written by Head of Spectre. Presented by Creepypasta.com. In the spring of 1953, when I was nine years old I saw my brother die. I'll remember that day for the rest of my life. The memory has never left me and it never will. Part of it is the trauma, the slow, insidious realization that he was gone, that crept into my life afterward. But there is more to it that I don't talk about. I've held on to it for years, and I don't want to hold on to it any longer. It was the 10th of April. School had just finished, and Charlie and I were walking home like we always did. Those were good times. Mom always had a snack waiting for us. Good old cookies and milk. Charlie was the kind of kid with a smile that could light up a room. He was a year above me, but he seemed to be full of more energy than I could have mustered. Outside, we played superheroes, like the ones in the comic books. He was always Captain America, and I was Bucky Barnes. With wild ginger hair, freckles and sparkling green eyes. He didn't look like much of a superhero, but he sure knew the part well. After our snack, he grabbed the garbage can lid, and I'd grab my BB gun, and we'd go out to fight the bad guys, on the front lawn. We'd been hoping to play like that when we got home, and Charlie was ahead of me, looking back and yelling for me to keep up. Come on, Felix. Mum's waiting. I remember the smile on his face. I remember seeing that green 1953 Chevy Corvette around the corner behind him, as it came barreling down the road. For a moment, I didn't think much of it. Why should I have? The Corvette should have passed us by with no issue. Sure, he was going a little fast, but, there should have been nothing to worry about.